Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. We launched Compose Camp, a series of in-person and virtual sessions where you can learn how to build Android apps with Jetpack Compose alongside your peers. Compose Camp has two tracks. The beginner track caters to complete Android beginners, including people that have no coding experience. And the experience track is for Android developers who want to learn how to migrate to Compose and stop using XML. See how you can participate in a Compose Camp near you in the post. Speaking of Compose, we have a brand new Mad Skill series on Compose. In the first episode, you'll learn how to change your thinking to coding with Compose. Building with Compose lets you focus on what and not how, unlike the view system. In other words, you declare what you want your UI to contain, but you don't tell it step by step how to do it. Learn more about how to think in Compose in this episode. The next episode covers composable functions, the building blocks of Compose. You can create composable functions by using the composable annotation. Because composables are quick and easy to create, it's easy to organize your UI into a library of reusable components. Learn more about how to create composable functions in this episode. Android Studio Dolphin is here. This release focuses on three key themes, Jetpack Compose, Wear OS, and development productivity. Exciting features include the Compose Animation Inspector, the Wear OS Emulator Pairing Assistant, and Gradle Managed Virtual Devices. Learn all about the new cool features in the blog post or the video. There has been a bunch of interesting stuff released in Android X recently. Notably, annotation version 1.5.0 went stable and was fully migrated to Kotlin sources, resulting in support for Kotlin-specific target use sites and other Kotlin-compatible annotation features. Activity version 1.6.0 and Fragment version 1.5.3 also went stable. Drawer Layout version 1.2.0 is an Alpha 1 and Recycler View version 1.3.0 is an RC1. Ben covered Compose Composition Tracing, a new feature that allows showing composable functions in the Android Studio Flamingo System Trace Profiler. This feature gives you the low intrusiveness from system tracing with method tracing levels of details in composition. This is great for checking your Compose app's performance and working out why your app might not be performing as you expect. Learn more about this feature in the post. Next, the Deep Links Crash Course continues with an article from Summers when he writes on troubleshooting Deep Links. He goes over common issues that can occur with Deep Links and how to solve them. In episode 199 of Android Developers Backstage, Tor and Chet spoke with Mark, Tony, and Andrew from the Android Media team, where they work on video technologies and APIs like ExoPlayer. They talked about the evolution of ExoPlayer and platform media capabilities, as well as ongoing and near future features. That's it for this week with Compose Camp, Mad Skills Compose, Android Studio Dolphin, Android X releases, Jetpack Compose Tracing, Deep Links, and a new episode of ADB. Come back soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.